Okay, so now we're gonna talk about uh, getting our made stamp, our cardboard stamp uh, from this surface onto this surface. Uh, the technique that I'm gonna talk to you about for, for stamping with the dye print paste concentrate applies across the board to all the stamps we may use or now and forever potentially. Um, so it applies to our cardboard stamps, applies to our found objects, our veggie slash potato stamps. It also applies to any kind of foam stamps you might purchase at a hobby store. Um, so really any kind of uh, stamp that you can think to, to stamp with this, this particular technique applies. It, it works with varying degrees, but it, it can't, I would use this technique. The reason I would use this technique is because it controls how much dye gets on the fabric. You have a little more control this way than you do if you just take it and dip it in here and then stamp it like that. I personally think that that's not going to work. Um, and that's been my experience. I'm more than think it. I've experienced it. So here we have the cardboard stamp that we made earlier. Uh, it's just, you know, two pieces of cardboard. One is glued onto the other. One cut piece is glued onto the base. We're going to take a, a foam brush and apply a little bit, a nice thin film of our dye print paste combination. Um, and uh, for those of you um, who are not aware, uh, again, we have added the soda ash, or I have added the soda ash to the dye print paste combination just a little bit rather than pre-soaking the fabric. Uh, both techniques work. They both have their pluses and minuses, but um, it's, it's just the way we were doing it today. So then I'm gonna take my now kind of inked up plate, so to speak, and I'm going to position it on my fabric. And I'm about to position it the wrong way. So I'm going to fix that super quick because I really want it to go a certain way. I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure. And I'm going to lift it up. And see, nobody even knows that I applied it the wrong way the first time. Um, and you see, it made a nice, uh, nice impression. One of the things I love about these cardboard stamps is it, I guess, you know, the corrugated component really shows and I like that personally. Um, I'm sure there are other cardboards that wouldn't have so much corrugation and so they would look differently or they would look different. Um, so now I'm going to position, I wanted this kind of uh, half moon shape to uh, go over here. Um, one of the things you might notice if you look closely is that I have some drawn lines on the back of my block. And these drawn lines are just kind of roughly drawn to give me a sense of where the top and the bottom of the block is so that I have a little bit more control over where I place it. And because I'm, I want a very specific look. This is not necessarily a technique you need to do every single time because sometimes you're just gonna to wanna to place a stamp randomly or you might be mixing it in with other stamps. So that kind of thing's not important. But uh, in this case, a little bit of what we call registration lines certainly helps with my placement. Another little tip that uh, I'm going to give y'all is, um, I don't know if you can know, see, but underneath my plastic, I've got a piece of batting, just, you know, cotton batting. Um, and what I've done is, is give a little bit of cushion where I'm pressing and it's it helps me to get a kind of a slightly deeper imprint um, if you don't have batting uh, that's not a problem you can just do this directly on the plastic that's laid on the table um, I certainly did it before just on plastic and it turned out beautifully so but it's just something to give you a little bit um, a little bit more cushion there are some stamps where that kind of thing might make a difference um, certainly something that maybe doesn't have as much give as cardboard does. I think that that would be uh, one of those situations. So that's basically how we're going to move the, the die from this place to this place for all our stamps. Um, one other thing I might want to mention is if I wanted to reuse this stamp right now with it having just had blue on it or this indigo color on it, I probably wouldn't be such a great idea. Uh, paper obviously is kind of hard to wash. It's going to kind of curl and stuff. So what I have done is I actually stamped this stamp onto like a piece of paper and made myself a template. So if I wanted to have multiple copies of this stamp, let's say I wanted one of these kind of components to be indigo and I want one to be mustard and I want to really move around or even if I want to change the die strengths, you know, as I work, then, you know, I've got some flexibility if I've got multiple copies of these cardboard stamps and it's super easy to do. Um, and that is pretty much how we are going to uh, stamp our fabric 
uh, with our stamps and create beautiful patterning.